Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another Blackmas. So today is Blackmas number seven, which means it's December 7th. Logic Queen right here talking to you guys. So today it marks a week since we started Blackmas and it's actually so exciting for me because I, di oh, I didn't know that I would be like constant and doing it. I know it says seven days, but it's a lot for me. And it's a little milestone that we get, so embrace the little advance that you make, guys, because if you do it and you don't think like, oh, I did this and I thought I would never do it, but it's just a little milestone, it's not the entire goal, I shouldn't feel so excited. Feel excited, guys, because that's progress, and progress is good, so yeah. As you saw, just when I woke up, I got into a shower because honestly, I was feeling so disgusting. I don't know why, but I was sweaty and I don't know, I just, just, I had a good sleep. So I don't know where that's coming from, but maybe it's because yesterday I was in a bad mood and I was kind of feeling sad and I don't know, I was not feeling motivated and energetic at all. So yeah, and sometimes hopping in the shower just when I wake up. It really helps me a lot and it did. Now I'm in a whole better mood and yeah, I hopped in the shower, I did my skincare and I didn't record it because I wasn't feeling it. Like I, I just got off on everything shower and I was so hot. I just wanted to do my skincare. Just don't record it, just have a little me time. And then I went and had breakfast as you saw and now I'm going to do my bed and start studying. Because yesterday, even though I advanced a lot on my paper, like I think I left it with you guys and I said that everything I was writing, I didn't like it and I wasn't kind of feeling it. But then after I finished blogging, I started writing the paper again and I loved it. Like seriously, like I loved that outcome much more than the than the one that I had before. So yeah, but I didn't study any programming and I'm gonna do that today because finals are coming. I can feel it and I know you guys can feel it too. Like, it's Tuesday, today. Just four more days to go. And we are going strong these four days. Okay, so I have to study a lot of programming and maybe a little bit of physics also. So, and today I have physics class. I'm remembering right now, I totally forgot. I'm gonna light my candles because I haven't lit them in like two days. And one of them is kind of run out, the little one, but the big one, it's still available for me to light it and enjoy it. So we're gonna do that, study, but first, bed, because it's a whole mess and I don't like it. I feel like more put together when I have my bed made. I don't know if you guys feel that way too. I think everybody feels that way. Like maybe it's just one thing of their room, but it, it takes so much space that it just makes an impact, you know? When you see it made it, it's like, okay, I feel more put together. I don't know why, but I don't know if there's a logical explanation behind that, but I, I know guys, you feel it too. So, and if you don't, it's okay. So today is going to be like kind of study with me kind of day. Also, it's, it has been like this mm, the entire week. But yeah, today I don't think I'm going to do much more than that. But we'll see. We never know what the day can bring us. So let's find out. made we can take that off our to-do list guys i don't know what to get my brother for christmas like i don't want to sound like a bad sister but this is something that i think a lot of people go through like we know our brothers more than anything in this world but we also know that they have everything <laughs> like my brother he's five years older than me and he works and he's got his own money and most of the time 
every time he wants something he buys it for himself because he's got a grown-up money and he can do it so good for him but when it comes to Christmas I don't know what to get him and I've been like this like two years in a row but I talked to his girlfriend thinking okay she might help me she might know what he wants she doesn't know either and we're like kind of in the situation that my brother and his boyfriend he has everything and we don't know what to do so i thought okay i can dm his best friend and maybe like i was it was a, a long shot because i didn't know i didn't think that his best friend good arkish would actually know what he wanted because I don't know what you guys think, but I think guys don't talk the same way about gifts than girls. Like, I think it's what I say my entire life. Like, I have a group of friends that are just guys and a group of friends that are just girls. And us girls just usually know better what the other girl wants because we talk a lot about what we like. But guys, it's like not the same vibe. I mean, they can somewhat sometimes mentioned that they like something but it, then they keep talking it's like well i don't know if i want it because then and then and this and that it's like boy <laughs> and i don't know it's different and it it makes it harder for me also because the guys that i have in my life are not that materialistic so every time there comes a birthday or christmas or something it's not that i know what they want because they just don't like material stuff and anyways I talked to his best friend and he told me two things that he would love. He wants a book, that he wants to read an ebook, but it's just ridiculous, like you should get him the book. And he wants this board game, that it's called Catan, I think a lot of you guys know what, is, what it is. And actually I didn't know what Catan was until I got in my degree and in history of video games, which is a subject that I had last year, they told us a lot of board games and and I actually love the concept of that time. Isn't it strategy, board game? And it's, I think it's actually really fun. And now that I think about it, it's not that weird that my brother likes that board game. Like, it's like, I don't know, I think it matches with him. So guys, I didn't show you, I think I never show you this, but I have both in my PC and in my laptop two um, mood boards as a wallpaper. And the one that I have on my PC, it's two years old and the one that I have on my laptop, I did it right before I started college this year. Like I think a week before I started classes or something like that. And I love mood boards, like not only they're pretty and you can make them your own and it's like a vision of what you want to do this year, but I don't know, it's like setting goals for yourself and maybe it happens a lot of time and you see that mood board and you it and it's like oh my god i got that and that and that it's actually really cool and also i think i want to do this year because i've been seeing it all over tiktok i want to do it like a physical mood board for the year like i won't do it right now because i'm too busy to do it but as soon as i finish finals i think i want to make this giant mood board. not giant because i don't want to be like so big that it's ugly but i want to make this physical mood board for, well, not as a mood board, but as a vision board for the year of the things that I want to do or the things that I would love it to happen. And I don't know, I think it's a great way of manifesting. And also, I don't know, it's, it's pretty. You can make your own vision board and it's really pretty and make the colors match your vibe. I don't know, I like it, but I want to show you guys one that I have on my PC that I will change <sighs> soon enough because it's two years old and I think we should we should change it, but let me show you that. Okay, so there you have it. Um, let me tell you a little bit of my mood board. I want, there's a lot of gold jewelry because when I did it, I didn't have any gold jewelry at all. And I was more of a silver jewelry girl, but I wanted to get into gold. So that's why there's a lot of gold jewelry. Also this photo, I saw it on Pinterest and I love it because I wanted to start to help you on that and we are halfway there. This car is my dream car. Like seriously, I know Range Rovers have a lot of problems and you have to take them a lot to the mechanic, but I love Range Rovers and they are so pretty. It's my dream car. But it also, it was like a way of saying, okay, I can get a car because I have my driver's license. 
and when I did this I was I think 17 and it was like okay there's a whole year before me before I get my my driver's license but I have it now so check that I don't know this what this photo means maybe it's because I wanted to have more self care at night I don't know this is self-explanatory like I wanted to get good grades which I did this entire Apple ecosystem I don't have any of those <laughs> but I have my iPhone and when I did this I didn't and I love my iPhone it's so pretty and it's so useful I love it but uh, I got my laptop it's from Huawei but it looks just like a MacBook and it's better because I love Windows operative system so for me it's kind of better than a MacBook this quote that I here it's really good and an Apple watch which I find it so useful, like, I would love to have it. But the little ones, the ones that have 40 millimeters instead of 44, I don't know, but I love them. And money just to, like, girl, money doesn't give you happiness, but it helps a lot. So yeah, it's that. And I love the vibes and all the colors, like, it's so white and beige, I love. But, <clears throat> as I said, I wanted to change it, because it's too old. We had to re renew it, but yeah, it's not time for, to do that. It's time to study. I've talked long enough, so now we're going to study. So come with me. I think I I would love if my videos um, help somebody to get motivated for studying for finals because I know it can be like a really stressful time of the year and like a really unmotivating age, but it's worth it. Like just think. When you end your finals, like in about two weeks, it, which is in my case, I don't know how long I do from finals, but when you end the finals, you will say, okay, I've worked my ass off. Now I got my reward, which is whatever the result is, I know I work a lot and I know that it will be worth it. And now I can just chill and enjoy Christmas. And it doesn't matter if it's not Christmas, if it's summer, then you can enjoy summer or whatever. But just work hard, because then you'll, you'll just be thankful. So let's do that. Okay guys, so as you saw, I didn't tell you, but I got off my house. Exciting, I know. Yeah, my mom decided to go buy some decor because this year we had some problems with our decor and we have to throw out a lot of things that were like so old and it was kind of emotional because those were things that we had since we were kids and yeah but it, it was time actually so we decided to go and try and buy something and we went to actually three different stores but we couldn't find anything that we liked and anything that wasn't like crazy expensive because i don't know what it is with the stores that i have nearby but just like they are so expensive for these little things that aren't even like good quality and but yeah we went to th three different stores and we couldn't find anything so we came home without anything which is kind of sad but i think it was on the day like we weren't in a good mood because i wasn't feeling like i don't know why but my hair my head started hurting and i don't know it wasn't a good day for go out and buy christmas stuff i wasn't in the christmas mood today so i've been studying since i got home i just took a, a break from studying a bit to get a little snack and now i will go back to study for a little bit then i'll start editing this video and then i have my physics class so that's kind of to sum up everything that i'm going to do right now but yeah i'm going to leave the video here guys because i don't think i will be doing anything but yeah i hope you guys loved it and 
yeah tomorrow will be another day and i'm i hope that i don't feel so burnt out tomorrow but it will be a friday night and i will be at home studying so i don't know if it tomorrow will be a really good day but i'll try to make the most out of it i hope you guys liked it and love you